Thank you, Ritesh, for that very kind uh, introduction. I've known Ritesh for a number of years, uh, and I know way too much about PBMs than any one person should ever know. Uh, and that is the advantage of going to his pharmacies, because he will make sure he tells me his most recent reimbursement story uh, that I hear. It's a pleasure to be with all of you. Um, I'm also the chair of the Senate Millennial Caucus, just me. Uh, I never lose an argument, and uh, I make sure I always win. Uh, what you do each and every day at the ground level as community pharmacists uh, matter to so many people. You have a relationship with your clients that no big box store or no PBM run pharmacy has. And as I read stories throughout the country, whether it's in Ohio or Georgia, where we see independent pharmacies closing up because of an unlevel playing field, it's no more important time than now that government steps up and makes sure that we provide an even playing field. In no other industry would you see kickbacks be called as rebates. Uh, in no other industry would you have middlemen basically uh, profiting off of a system where patients are the ones in harm's way. In no other industry would you see a totally shady, non-transparent way of operating where government basically for t far too long, except until recently, has been looking the other way. And in no other industry would you see a failure to disclose basic pricing, basic ways of operating uh, like you do with these PBMs. I was glad to see, uh, as I listened to almost three hours of hearings on the U.S. House floor, uh, members of Congress from both parties stepping up and saying that this is an attack on the free market, this is an attack on capitalism, and this is an attack on the mom and pops across our country that for far too long uh, have been getting shut down while major corporations are getting tax breaks. So I make this commitment to you today. Uh, I value and respect what each of you are doing each and every day. I've only been a member of the Senate now for about two months, but I'm having fun already. Um, but I make this commitment that I know what you go through every day. Uh, the help of a great team with, um, with, with Lori and Anthony, uh, who are doing a wonderful job representing your interests. Um, they are out in Trenton reminding everybody what you're going through. And I want you to know every day when I'm in the Senate, I know what you're going through. So I commit to you that I'm gonna do everything I can as a member of the Senate to make sure that we end this gridlock that PBMs have here in New Jersey. Other states are starting to do it, whether you look at Georgia, whether you look at Ohio. And we need to do the same here in New Jersey. And I made that message uh, clear to the governor as well as to the Senate President and Speaker that this is gonna be a focus. I've even made it clear to the PBMs. Um, so thank you for what you do. Thank you for your relationship to your patients. Thank you for employing local employees that pay taxes locally and uh, live locally. And I want you to know I am here for you and if there's anything I can do, please reach out to my office uh, at any time. Uh, our office is in Freehold, I represent 18 towns in Monmouth County, but no matter where in the state you are, if you have any challenges, any issues, uh, please reach out to me. So I appreciate it. And I have a proclamation here that I'd like to present to the Garden State Pharmacy owners, the GSPO, which is a joint resolution for myself and my running mates, Assemblyman Hotelling and Assemblywoman Downey, uh, on behalf of the Senate President, uh, Steve Sweeney and Speaker Craig Coughlin, uh, whereas GSPO, which is comprised of nearly 1,000 retail pharmacies throughout the state, demonstrates effective leadership through its active participation in the legislative arena. And in 1985, GSPO thrived and promoted its mission. So on behalf of the New Jersey legislature, I want to present this to the GSPO and best wishes to everybody for a great day and know that I'm with you except for the way. Thank you so much. Thank you.